Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we are playing Dragon Age 2. I didn't die. <laughs> I only got, like, super fucking sick for, like, god, over a week. Which is weird, because I'm, like, one of those people who maybe gets sick once a year, and if I do, it's, like, some tiny, like, post-nasal drip something, or, like, the, the wussiest of colds. I never get, like, full-blown sick. Thank you, Merlin. Okay, so, we're in a Talvashoth cave, if I remember where we are. So I know you guys had a lot to suggest as far as like where I needed to go. I know we need to go back to the hangman, and I know that we need to go and talk to Keeper Marathari about Could we have done that the whole time? I don't remember those slabs of concrete being so easy to move. To talk to Keeper Morathari about taking in Fainriel. You know, keeping good on our promise. Like, okay. Okay, Marble Slabs. Those are oddly easy to move. Like, that's an enormous slab up there. But I guess it's no different than those, like, Oh, hello. Then those giant, like... What do you call them? Those, like, sliding... The Dragon Claw doors in Skyrim, right? Those are enormous. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Farrak. Alright. But... Oh, no, I can use that one. What? Is this what you guys were talking about? About, like, the recyclable dungeons? <laughs> I mean, maybe the architecture is all the same. I don't know. Architecture. Natural architecture? I don't know. What's the word for that? So, as I posted yesterday, while I was sick, um, like, because I couldn't really talk, I was coughing all the time, and, like, just, you know, I had the man voice going. It was, it was really attractive, let me tell you. Um, so I couldn't record. And, you know, of course I can't shoot or anything. Where, where is everyone? Oh, okay. You're, how did you trigger all the way over there? I'm not even over there yet. No. Better not be. I will be so upset. Um, so I played a lot of WoW during that time. And, um, I made a guild. <laughs> well, because, like, my RP partner and I were in one that was really great and stuff, but the GM needed to, to go do her own thing for personal reasons. And so, like, the whole thing kind of fell apart. And so we were like, well, we RP a lot. And we've got, you know, we're great writers. We have a lot to offer the RP community. So why not? So we did. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, I definitely am one of those people who don't die, baby girl. Who, like, gets really, really into shit. Oh, there. Um, yeah. And, like, I made a Tumblr. I made a website. Because part of my bachelor's degree was actually a lot of like the creative design aspects of it. So, oh, I don't think we got this in the last cave, did we? This is kind of cool. And so I did all that. Um, <laughs> and I was actually just sitting there. This isn't good. Did I just pick up raw leering with my hands? Um, what were we talking about? God damn it, no. <laughs> Let's see. Artistic design, was it? Oh, okay. So, RP partner and I were sitting around in Dalaran, main city. Well, main hub for Legion, at least. Which is the current content, the current expansion. And like... <laughs> 
Okay, so that's the door we need to go through. I feel like I've by oh, okay. Bypassed quite a bit, but I'm just I just wanna check all the passages. So wasn't there a door that we didn't go through? No, because we It's like Skyrim for a hot second. <laughs> um so our PE partner and I were sitting in Dow and we had these like motorcycle kids come up and start rubbing their little motorcycles around us. I don't know, I guess it's some kind of like summoning ritual or whatnot. Don't you freak out on me, game. And so I was like, hey, this is interesting. And so I recorded it. And then I was like, you know what? No. And then I made a motherfucking Harlem Shake meme out of it when they left. It was pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a 2015 meme. It is a now meme, and it is relevant and funny. <laughs> Please don't poke me, bro. Come on, attack me. Go oh, out. Come on. I wish I could just go on to the next target. It would be really convenient. Just, oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, hold on a hot second. <sighs> How did I not see him? I was too busy talking about wow. Surprise, surprise. Okay. No, go back. Unpause. There we go. Okay, guys, we need this one. Come on, please. Oh my god, what is happening? Could you not just run random places? Look at you. How is she not dead? How is she not dead? Here, do you need stamina? I guess you need stamina, so... No, because you're only gonna take one at a time. Take that one first. Yeah. No. Gotta keep pushing the wrong buttons. Would you stop? Stop running! Where are you doing? Like, she won't even stop running when I ask her to. This is really strange. This is really not good. He's gonna go down, isn't he? Yeah. Can I even salvage this? <clears throat> Come on, Fendris, baby. Why won't you take this health potion? You're gonna die if you don't take it. It was really weird. The game was, like, not responding to... No, I don't need to change difficulty. It's fine. It's not even responding to the actions. Like, I was trying to use WASD to move Hawk when she was continually running, and she wouldn't stop. I'm gonna need you to not do that, Hawk. Okay, so next time we know. Okay, I see. What? I fucking, like. I didn't even move! I didn't even move. Get him, Fenris. I gotta watch everyone's health a little bit more. Who's tanking down here? Thank you. Yeah, you get out. You. Okay, everyone. And there's... Can I move this, please? Oh god, you can't even see. Is that a leader? Or are these just dudes? No leader's down. Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid to, like, let this go. Okay, we just gotta be fenders for a second. Come on, you come this way. Okay, now... Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Where's the mage dude? You got to be fucking... 
tank is running around haphazardly because I don't know where's Hawk. What? Where's the mage, dude? Okay, what? Whatever. What the fuck ever. I just don't care. No, I don't want to click on him. I want to use this. Will you drink that? Thank you. Come on. There we go. Are you sure he's not? I wish I could hover over. I'm really trying to hover over the bubbles on the mini map. But it won't let me do that. Hey, you get. Oh, I see you. I see you. Dead? What dwarf? What? What dwarf? Have I like missed a whole time while I wasn't here? Because <laughs> I'm really confused. <sighs> and not in the fun way. I thought we were just coming in here to kill shit. And now we have dwarves? It looked like some armor and stuff or weaponry at least, so that's nice. Yeah, the mobbing in this like game is real. I wish we had better targeting capabilities. That would make my life a lot easier. It's hard to go from something like WoW where I can literally just tab. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. What? Boots. I thought he said boots for a second, like with a TH at the end, and I was like, Are you a merchant? And I didn't know. Well, we don't need to go there, so we're fine. Did we get everything? Okay, so this is the direction that we need to go. Down that way. Okay. What is back here? I'm really upset that we can't hover over the mini map. Like, what is this? Oh, just leave. All these concrete barriers. I guess the other ones are just locked doors and stuff, effectively. <sighs> Do I have to battle more people? No. That would be really nice. I mean, I guess that was the bulk of their forces. I'll take a look at this in a little bit. If it know the time, then the end of the episode. So we don't waste our time equipping and whatnot. Well, I mean, I guess that was fun. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so I needed to go back to the hangman. Can I go there from. Yeah! Although I do hate this imagery. This is like. It's a little more Okay. Ooh, there's a ravine a book. Did we read that already? Oh good, it's nice and short. Nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of the Imperium, nor the streets of Orzmar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravain. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Canari left most of the country's zealous followers of the Kun. But resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Canary War. Oh, okay. So he's, like, being serious. He's not being like, oh, these people are bad because they're not, you know. What are they? Androstian. There we go. The Ravaini refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are, in fact, hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of local tradition. Well, yeah. I mean, let these people do them. It's called culture. People can have more than one. Okay, so what are we doing in the hangman? Is there some place in particular I'm supposed to go? Anyone I'm supposed to talk to? Certainly your people have stories about the Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinta. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they run away, the Dalish would help them. 
You might as well say. If they flew into the sky, they could live in the clouds. What would they eat in the clouds? There's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird. Oh, this baby. is why nobody takes the Dalish seriously. Don't be rude. That was precious. I assume we go to his house, yeah? And then we talk to him in his... Wait, but I'm so worried that's going to start us on, like... Do you ever feel like the world is getting simpler? Like everything from oh, there we go. to fighting is a lot less complex than it used to be. Okay, random dude. Um, I'm going to save just in case we trigger something. I don't think we have enough gold, but... Yeah, we don't have enough gold. Okay, good, good, good. I like this bar. Everybody here knows your name. Is that it? Edwina's the meanest waitress I've ever met. But she keeps my drink full. I think I might love her. <sighs> what are we supposed to do at the hangman? You know that guy Marlowe at the bar downstairs? Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. Edwina's the meanest waitress uh -huh. I've ever met. But she keeps my drink full. I think I might love her. There, you're incorrigible. Okay. Well, if there's nothing here, then let's go chill out with Marthari. I would never complain about going to see the elves again. What is that? Something about ambush. Ah, we'll figure it out later. I'm just trying to get the few things that we need to on our agenda. Okay. Let's go see some elves. Which is always my favorite thing. I always think that's Red Larium in the background for a half second before I realize that those are Aerovals. Play too much Inquisition. Although I don't think there's anything is too much Inquisition. Alright. Where's Marthari? Right there. <gasps> Fabriel, he's here! Oh, yes. May the dread wolf never hear your footsteps, child. <laughs> How are you doing? I can't thank you enough for letting me come here. But it hasn't been quite what I thought. Has the keeper been able to help with your magic? Sadly, his is not a problem we've encountered before. I am studying our ancient writings, but it is a slow process. His human blood makes it difficult to train him. You know, when I lived in Kirkwall, I felt like everyone could tell by my face I was an elf. Now I understand how easily I passed. It's harder here. Still, we appreciate you bringing him here, friend. We would not see a son of our tribe suffer alone. Please, accept this as our thanks. Oh, you don't have to give me anything. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. That's not helpful. Another nightmare. They just keep getting worse. I wonder, like, because I know you guys have been saying that this was a larger quest in the grand scheme of this game. I don't know, like, does his nightmares... Do his nightmares... Do they somehow factor into something that's going to happen? That'll be an interesting... Because, I mean, I know that there's going to be some conflict between the Templars and the Mages. Like, that's kind of inevitable, right? Um, but I don't know how much he has to do with that. I know, I know, Misham. I'm getting out. I'm sorry. Every time... Oh, this does circle around. Every time I just think of the opening scene of the uh, Dalish Origins for Dragon Age Origins and Tamlin and his Shem business. It was it was a really great game, I'm not gonna lie. It was I, I chose well with Mahariel as my character. It was great. It's a great game. Okay, I have no idea where to go. Um there's so many oh again we have mail? Let's go read our mail. I'll have to like. So someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. 
Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. Damn. I was worried they would fall out. Oh, it was you. You were kind of a dick. <laughs> okay. Proud scion of the Hawk family. I dare not contact you directly, but we have met before, and I know you to be a person of good character and unusual ability. Indulge me in a meeting outside the city, for I require your aid in a delicate task. As a token of good faith, I have enclosed a modest sum. There will be more waiting if you can help. Please come as soon as you receive this. If you do not, the lives of many innocents may be on my hands. So there was money in it? Uh, you didn't take my allowance, you rude thing. Get out of my face! Mm. Your mother's bad enough. I don't need you nagging me. You are so rude! Why are you so rude? Hey, Carver. I'm with you, sister. For now. You're sweet, and I love you. I always wanted to bring the children back to meet your grandparents. Now, I wish we had stayed them forever. We can go back. Or is this, like, actively during the blight? So does this take place, like, during the same time as the stuff with the wardens going down? Because if we escape below the ring... And it's only been a, well, it's been a year, so I'm not sure. I don't know how long, you know, canonically, those events take place. The ones in Dragon Age Origins. Presumably less than a year, so we should be able to go back now. It, I guess the matter is there's nothing for us back there. <laughs> Pumpernickel. At least you're good pups. Oh. I'll let you sleep. Aww. I do definitely like several people was like, yeah, I think you're you're more of a blue hawk, and I'm like, yeah, I think you're right. Not because like I don't appreciate purple hawk snark and shit, but because sometimes you have to react to situations in a certain way, and I think that she's flippant sometimes when she needs not be. Okay, I want you, and you. So you're my tank. Oh, I love the way that she stands like that, with her wrist resting on the pommel of her weapon. And you. I would really like an Anders, though, and I don't know where to get one. Hmm. We have so many quests to do. Let's just go to Lowtown. Um, I'm gonna go to Lowtown and I'm gonna check out our journal and see what we need to do next. I'm so worried about like not doing things in the right order. Cause like in Dragon Age Origins, I just kinda like fucking plowed right on through. And it was like, oh hey, yeah, this is gonna be great. And just like did shit. But I feel like this is so much more nuanced to do it correctly. Especially, especially with the friendship meters and whatnot. You remind me of Harin Pai Velvaric. Only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories, and you tell stories. Although none of his begin, No shit, there I was. <laughs> I'll have to give him some better stories, then. <laughs> I love Meryl, she's so cute. Okay, what is this? Can I do this? Let's, you know, the best way to go about this... This will, I'll, who gives a fuck, we'll just say it. Don't say I didn't. Ow. Fuck him. Ah, ha, 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 ha. No, no, there's a mob. There's a mob and they're on me. Fenris! Fenris, please! Fenris, please. No, why didn't you take it? Is there like a... There's no like debuff that I have to wait a certain amount of time, right? Why is she not taking it? Fenris. Oh my god, you've got three. 
But I've got all of these. Come take this from me. I'm just gonna motherfucking run. Where's Meryl? Oh, well then where's Barrack? Oh. I, I swear to God, I've got eyes and I know how to use them. Okay, I'm just piecing out. I gotta get out of here. Gotta take some of this aggro off. Now can I please have a health potion? Why not? This card effect is gonna murk the shit out of me. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, please. Oh, please. This is how I play a hunter. <laughs> kite, 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 kite. <laughs> okay, I don't know what purpose that served, but we did something. Hooray. There's a part of me that's like, I really should just play the game as it comes. Like, because I'm not gonna enjoy this if I'm repeatedly and constantly worrying about, well, am I gonna fuck this up? Am I gonna like ruin this reputation? And it's hard because apparently the game is so based on that. Like you have to be one or the other. Like being lukewarm in this is just an ideal because you miss out on content. So let's look at our journal. Okay, rumors. Okay, can't follow up on this. Can't follow up on this. Let's do companions. Do we have any quests the way it should be? Oh, okay. I don't know if we want to start that so late in the episode. Find Fenris. I have Fenris. Do we need to just go talk to him in his house? Nice crime you have around here. Talk to Meryl in her house. Okay, let's go talk to our friends. You know there's nothing I love more than talking to our friends. Okay. How do I get out of here? I don't want to do these. It looks like I can go right around this corner. Nobody follows the law. Is this a place? Where is, where is this? This is what I want. Do I have to go up for that? Oh, gamblins. This is fine, because if I walk out, I can just go back to the selection screen, right? One, two, three. Good. This is what I want. So let's go to Marl's house, and then we can go to then we can go talk to Fenris. Hey, Meryl. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged right outside? It was fascinating. Baby girl. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Baby girl. Someone has jumped outside your door, and that's exciting. It must be the alien age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. Oh, baby. It's so busy here. So many things just get lost. Do you miss the Danish? I miss her and Pival stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. She's got a good attitude. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful, even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. That's good, at least. Are you feeling lost here, Meryl? A bit. But I'll adjust. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Nice crime you have around here. <laughs> I'm sure that's your doing, Varric. Right behind you, Hawk. We should move on. Yes, Varric. Let's go talk to Fenris at his house now. So if we want to go to Fenris's house... Fenris's mansion. Perfect. Ha ha ha. I'm glad there's a shortcut for these. It makes it easier. Hello, dear. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. 
Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. His voice is so gravelly. Oh. Oh! I don't know, the last time we hit on Fenris, it was really awkward. And in bad taste. Hawk, God damn it. And it's insensitive, I think. You were his servant as well as his bodyguard. I was his slave. I propped up the furniture when he was so inclined. <gasps> it's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. Okay, so if I was visiting some guy and he just takes a bottle of wine, you know, just talks about it, whatever he has to say about it, takes a drink and then dashes it against the wall, the alarm bells would be real. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I don't know. It's hard because, like, I'm not really formulating much of a character for Hawk because she's not... She's not a character of my creation. You know what I mean? Somebody made her for me and told me to play her. It's different with Mahariel in the way that, like, I, I designed her. I picked what she is. I selected this. I selected her. And this one was, you know, foisted on me. Not that I'm complaining. It's just a, it's more difficult to generate, for me at least, background and a personality for Hawk because what I've got is just this. So I don't know. Like, I'm not sitting here, like, generating headcanon for her. Maybe she does want to go home? I mean, this has to be foreign. I bet she does. I bet she's at least a little homesick, right? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Yeah. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Daenerys will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. I mean, I understand that. I do. I don't know. I don't know. That's so complicated. That's not really for me to interject and provide my opinion on. It doesn't involve me, and it's really none of my business. Let's see, how do I feel about this? I guess there's something to be said because on the one hand you're like, well, bloodshed is just going to get more bloodshed, it's just going to get more bloodshed. But at the same time, if you kill him, that's going to spare the lives of the people that he could be hurting. I don't know. I hope this doesn't matter that much. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. 
I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. Perhaps? Does he not know? Sounds like a tough situation. I'm not made of glass. I should thank you again for helping me against the hunters. Yes, you should. <laughs> Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Oh! That's a good way. That is a good... That is a good flirt. Oh, shit. Oh, is he flirting? Oh, is he flirting with me? <laughs> like, I mean, I recognize him, but I thought he was just being somewhat, like... He's being appreciative. Because he is, but I didn't realize, like, the game was actually generating it as a... As a flirt. I'm really... Ugh! I really want to romance Anders. But this is a... Uh, <laughs> they're putting it right here in front of me. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Friendship. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just like ping ponging back and forth. Oh, no. Okay. Got somewhat of a doozy. History of Kirkwall, Chapter 3. Also, like, you guys, I have another save. So if I need to not do that, like, if I need to, like, do something else in that chat to make the game better, let me know. I would literally just, before I record next, go back, fix it, and then start from here again. Make sense? So, like, let me know. Because, <laughs> like, I don't mind flirting with Fenris. I know that the that he and Anders have some pretty antagonistic dialogue if you date one and then dump them or they dump you, whatever happens, and then you switch to the other one. So, uh... uh yeah, let me know what, what you guys think would be best because I, I think I do want to romance Anders. I need to go just pick up Anders so I have all my options so we can start flirting with people, <laughs> romancing them <laughs> the way that I would like to so I don't do what I did in Origins and, like, have Alistair and then fall in love with Alistair and then have Zebron and be like, oh, fuck. And then, like, have to, like, eh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Canary first thundered into Kirkwall in 756 storm during last of the new exalted marches. The collected nations of Thetis were attempting to drive the Canary from the northern mainland once and for all. Canary armies were on the retreat. But in a desperate gamble, their fleet circled around the Amaranthine coast and landed a great force near the Marcher city of Oswick. Their plan was to overwhelm the Marcher cities of Starkhaven and Kirkwall. Starkhaven sounds familiar. Starkhaven to block the roads leading north, and Kirkwall to block ships on the waking sea coming from Orlay, all in an attempt to deny supplies to the Thetis armies assaulting Ravane. The attack on Starkhaven eventually failed, but Kirkwall was attacked in a daring night raid where the Canari used their leashed Sarabas mages in an unprecedented display of sorcery. sorcery. The walls were torn down and the city was taken, and for the next four years, Kirkwall endured the most brutal occupation in its history. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were occupied. Writings from that time are scarce. It was not until after the city was freed that the Canaries' deeds came to light. Children taken from families, forced conversion to the Canary religion, and brutal labor camps. 
It's ironic that the old slave quarters of Lowtown, still intact after centuries, provided the perfect means for the Canari to control the city's people. When the famous Orlesian Chevalier, Sir Michael Le Fay, rode into the city after finally defeating the Canari defenders, he wrote, Kirkwall is full of people with empty eyes that have had all independent thought driven from them. When La Fay was appointed the city's first Viscount by the Emperor in 760 Storm, he made it his mission to undo the religious conditioning. I won't, I won't comment. The Lafayette bloodline remained popular enough that when the city finally rebelled against Orlesian rule, oh, okay, Orlesian rule in 805, blessed, Viscount remained the enduring title for Kirkwall's rulers despite its origin. I mean, okay, that's interesting though. I'd like to know more about the Orlesian and Ferelden history, because I know that they're usually at odds, but this makes it seem that there was a time before that when they got along peaceably, if, you know, an Orlesian came to kind of liberate the city of Kirkwall. Oh, I need that shit again. Okay, again, let me know if I need to do the Fenris thing differently. I kind of just winged it. I kind of did what I thought was best at the time, but I know that this system is so delicate that I, I could very well miss out on Fenris content, period, if I'm not leaning one way or the other. And I kind of hate that, because it's kind of contrived, but I want to be able to experience the content, you know? So, let me know. Okay, guys, sorry for kind of a disjointed, haphazard episode. Um, I'm still not 100%. <laughs> But I am definitely going to make an effort to be back here and to do things and to make more videos. TLDR. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time.